um, to introduce what their companies are doing. So the next, um, next hour, you will be able to meet six of them. Uh, so the first one coming up, Mr. Chen Ningyu, head of Xue Si Online School of TAL Education Group. Let's welcome. Me? Can you hear me? OK. Good afternoon. Eh? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to, to share our teaching ideas and, and our status quo. I'm Chen Yu, the principal of Shares Online School. Today, I want to talk about the online education and AI, which in my mind will create a better learning experience. Firstly, I want to give a basic analysis about China after school tutoring market. Based on the data of Ministry of Education of China, there are more than 44 million preschool students in China. And the, the number in primary and junior school is 142 million. And in the high school is over 39 million. These huge numbers of students which could reflect a large potential market of training institutions. Then I want to share with you how Shares Online School did. In 2008, TL got started to march towards the online education industry. And in, in 2012, the video teaching mode has launched it. As the evolution of online education, we changed to double teacher live teach, teaching mode in 2016. Two teachers will participate in the learning procedure. One provides the best curriculum for students the other is a tutor who will mark students' homework and so, so their confusion outside the courses. Based on this mode, the innovative courses of math, science, Chinese, and English has been developed. Big Math aims to develop thinking skills by using problem-based learning mode and cultivate students to be a smart person. Basically, we designed our course from a real-life scenario. For example, this course is resulting from a problem which is a common thing in the supermarket. Lots of similar examples can be found in our, in our class, like monetary affairs, sports competition, construction, art, and etc. The course of Big Science develops a general science education platform. We cultivate students' science, scientific literacy and ability through experimental teaching mode. As for Chinese, when we teach our children about our language, we want to inherit and develop a respect for our culture so that we designed our big Chinese according to different stages of literary development. For example, uh, when we teach Romans of Three Kingdoms, a well-known Chinese masterwork, we will also teach all history, culture, and the biography relating to the literature. When it comes to English, we create a one plus two mode and sing a teaching method for a more effective and Chinese customized learning. Two foreign lessons and one Chinese lessons provide students with an easier way to learn and high frequency practice. In 
in the rapid development of AI today, how to use AI in the online education be become a hot topic. So let's first see a, see a video demo. I know learning system is based on artificial intelligence technology integrating cutting edge technologies in the education industry, including facial expression recognition, speech recognition, and assessment developed by Xue Ersu Online School. In the English role play, real interactive English conversation scenarios has been set up. Good morning. What can I get for you? Uh, I'd like coffee, please. During the communication, I know we'll capture and analyze students' expressions by facial expression recognition technology in an intelligent and accurate way. With the speech recognition and assessment technology, teachers are able to hear students online. More importantly, I know allows you to practice oral English and pronunciation anytime, anywhere. Upon the completion of the exercise, the system will generate a professional learning report. Okay. To ensure the fairness of study, we involve facial expression recognition that could generate a concentration curve based on students' real-time performance. We can tell what study status a student is via the recognizing their most subtle facial experience expressions and physical movement pattern. This tech will work as a timely reminder to let the master teacher know about students' attentions. For students and their parents, the concentration table could help them understand the learning effect instantly. We introduced the speech recognition and assessment system to accurately recognize and estimate students' response, enhancing their speech time and the interaction intentions. A system based on the K-12 exclusive evaluation model, avoiding to assess, million, uh, assess children in an adult pronouncing, pronunciation standard. We used over 10 million voice data, which has been collected from 1,000 teachers. We also utilize OCR technology to build an intelligence homework mark, mark, um, marking system. Students' homework can be repeatedly and conveniently corrected in real time. So AI makes the learning experience better. In order to give students higher quality resources, we made cooperation with foreign and Chinese top institutions and schools such as Cambridge University Press, Stanford University, Perkins University, and so on. For a better future, we advocate opening an integration in order to make the knowledge boundaries. We will actively facilitate cultural communication and interdisciplinary Creation. We expect that continuous technology innovation and cooperation will provide better learning experience for students. We also call for more, more talents who, can, who are capable and passionate dedicating themselves to, to the development of education. Their better future will be expected. Thank you. Thank you, Ning Yu. And next, let's welcome Mr. Li Chao, uh, CEO of, of Xuetang X. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Li Chao, or you can call me Alex. Uh, this one? Okay. Uh, Xuetang X is uh, uh, Xue Tang is a traditional name of school uh, in Chinese language, and X means possibility. So combined together is traditional with future. So Xue Tang X, I uh, suddenly find almost I'm only in the one uh, does not talk about with K-12. Uh, 
uh, in the China world. So China X is focused on uh, a global platform of life learning. Uh, start from two, uh, 2013, uh, after the year of MOOC, uh, the MOOCs changed uh, very, very fast. Start from the uh, physical class uh, at the year of 2000, 2010, uh, the, from the OCW uh, developed by MIT, and uh, they're also uh, providing uh, online lecture, lecture platforms. Uh, at the year of 2012, uh, the first uh, MOOC is uh, emergency. So in China, we have another, uh, our uh, Chinese understanding for MOOCs, um, massive, uh, massive online uh, courses. We have Chinese understanding. The massive means uh, do means much. And uh, the open means cost saving because there is no uh, limit to the learners. So is, uh, for us, is cost saving. And uh, the online providing a fast, touchable uh, channels for the, uh, for the learners. And uh, finally, the course is uh, good courses. Uh, we focus on quality, so uh, providing the high quality courses from the first tile university, even for first uh, tile high quality courses from uh, almost all around the world. Uh, actively promote online education is a strategy of Tsinghua, Tsinghua University. Tsinghua University is top 10 uh, global uh, universities uh, around the world, and uh, including its top uh, universities in uh, Chinese language, uh, Chinese university, I'm sorry. So first uh, founded uh, in October, in 2013, uh, we also are the first Chinese MOOCs uh, platform. We also uh, adopt a, a sustainable development model. Besides the, uh, the market-related uh, side, we have a company called uh, MOOC CN to operate in the model. Uh, we also have a government-related uh, platform to accumulate the uh, academic related resources. Besides the uh, companies, we also combine together with two venture capitals uh, to integrate the resources in the Chinese education market. Uh, on, the, on the left uh, is our uh, building. It's traditionally uh, it's a, a building of Google China. So after five, uh, four years fast de development, uh, Shetang X is being the third, uh, third, third player on the uh, MOOC platforms. Uh, and regarding from the class central data, we last, uh, last 90 years, we have uh, 9.3 million uh, users uh, after edX. So, currently we have uh, more than 600 partners and uh, operating courses with 1,000, uh, 1,040, 000, uh, uh, be, Currently we beyond uh, 11 million uh, users and uh, 20 million uh, enrollments. Uh, the high quality courses uh, providing, uh, we have top, uh, top 10, and top, top two uh, high quality courses listed on, also on the global platforms uh, in edX. Uh, different to, different to uh, Coursera and edX, we take a uh, lot of attention in universities. Uh, the left side is uh, what happened in Chinese current uh, universities, and the right side is uh, uh, is in uh, Harvard classroom in 2008. Uh, we are cutting off, uh, the traditional education is cutting off the relationship between the uh, user, uh, the students and high technology and the interactives. 
So what we are doing is trying to uh, combine two together. The education resources is not only stay on the cloud. It should be, be dropping in the classroom as a RAM. So we develop our uh, new technology as RAM classroom to enhance the traditional uh, classrooms. Not only providing the high quality courses as their university's credit courses, we also combine together uh, to enhance the traditional physical classrooms. Almost everybody asks, everybody understands. Almost everybody understands, no answer. It's too late also to improve the teaching method according to the final exam results. And uh, also, there's no method to analyzing the learning data manually. So we combine all together uh, to give enhanced technology, uh, combine mobile, big data, and AI information, uh, in AI technologies, combine together into a measurable high quality education. For the C side, for the seaside, we still taking lots of efforts in seaside uh, market. Currently, we have over uh, 10, 10 million uh, enrollment, uh, 10 million users. So, our strategy in seaside is combine the standalone MOOCs as only bricks, combine them together. We adopt a MOOC Plus uh, strategy. We provide in the standalone MOOCs, also provide a pet blueprint. So combined together is a degree. So what we are doing is transform our registered user to um, using a network to combine together to providing their high quality uh, programs. So what we are doing here is trying to find partners from, over, uh, from global resource, high education resources, find the partners to do, uh, to providing high quality, control, uh, high quality uh, resources for Chinese market together. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mr. Feng Bing. And next, let's welcome Mr. Oh, thank you, Mr. Li Chao, sorry. And then next, let's welcome Mr. Feng Bing, CEO of Microduino. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, they only gave me eight minutes, so I'm going to use Chinese to speed up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so first, uh, let's take a look at this short video to give you an idea how Michael Duino can tell an interesting story. By the way, all the products showing here are powered by Michael Duino modules. By the way, this flying fish is my personal favorite. You can use your gesture to control it. And this is the message we are trying to pass. It's from Einstein. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. So the, in the past, when we picture DIY electronics, we always thought about messy wiring, dangerous soldering, and complicated coding. We wanted uh, to lower the barriers to entry for everyone so everyone could enjoy building their own products. So we created Michael Duino. 
It's an electronic building blocks like super smart Lego that bring Legos to life. They are small as a quarter, stackable with magnetic connectors, and Arduino compatible. Each module has its own function like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. Just simply snap the modules you need. You can create your own projects such as drones, robots, GPS tracker. It's amazing how easily you can turn your idea into reality. With Mac Arduino, you can build many interesting products. You can turn your Lego toy to life. And uh, one community member built this uh, GPS tracker and went hacking with his girlfriend. After that, the map shows, will you marry me? Another community member uh, built this uh, smartwatch back in 2013 um, to do the Facebook and Twitter, which is earlier than Pebble Watch and Apple Watch. A team of college students uh, built this sign language translator. Basically, the glove can translate the sign language and speak it up with many different languages. How cool is that? So as in the case of a quadcopter, the sky is the limit. Arduino has many cool features. Uh, for instance, we support drag and drop programming, such as uh, Scratch. And as you grow, we teach the Arduino IDE, which is essentially the C++. Uh, that's why the Time mag magazine named us the five bad things to teach kids about computer and coding. Based on that, we developed a serious curriculum all the way from K to 12 to higher education. With our Arduino modules and sensors and our cell phone app, our cloud, we are building different product lines for, for different age groups. Plus, our educational theory and our methodology, we are serving all the markets in terms of STEM, STEAM education. Compared with the traditional lecture, which is more targeted, linear, teaches basic skills, uh, the flipped classroom is more nonlinear, free format, which cultivates the critical thought, personal exploration, and uh, individual creativity. It's like a human brain. The left brain is great for logic, science, math. The right brain is great for um, the art, creativity, and the imagination. When you combine these two together, it could be really powerful. So Arduino effectively models the balance between the instructor-led versus the self-driven learning, combines our technology, our programming tools, methodology, and the curricula into a complete STEAM package for the K-12 and higher education. Those uh, pictures showing you Arduino in STEAM education in everywhere worldwide, uh, and it's happening every day. Uh, for instance, uh, right now we are officially teaching two unit course at the Tsinghua University, which is the best university in China. We also support many STEAM events. For instance, four years in a row, we were the judge for the first robotics competition. And we support many hackathons as well. Uh, the time, uh, no, the, the Maker Faire named us the five by things to teach uh, about the world Maker Faire in 2016. Now let me give you one example to show you how we can help to turn your idea into reality. For instance, in our class, we will ask the students the question, what key component would you need to build a music box? To build a music box, anyone? Yeah, yeah, speaker. And uh, of course, uh, you, uh, the students can easily come up with those lists. We will provide those corresponding modules, and all they need to do is snap them together connect with the speaker, then boom, you have the working prototype. Just simple as that. Then we will always ask one step further, how can you create or design something more interesting or more interactive? That will be very close to those commercialized product. So never underestimate students' creativity. They just need something to inspire. You see, those are all the music boxes in our class. However, the design really makes it more interesting and powerful and the personal. So um, here are more examples. This is our worldwide customer map. Those dots are the real data from our system. Uh, we already covered all six continents, and hopefully sometime soon, the customer will bring Arduino to Antarctica, so we can change the number to seven. Uh, with our modules and the contents, we, we are right now serving over 2,000 schools and uh, over one million students. We work with uh, many schools, industrial leaders, and organizations. Hopefully someday we can also work with you in terms of STEM, STEAM education. 
Now let me use one case study to finish my talk. Let's talk about vultures, why they are important for people and the environment. They stop the killing disease. However, unfortunately, 99.9% .9 of vultures have been wiped out. So the International Center for Birds of Prey in UK, they want to do something to help. They want to create an artificial egg that looks exactly like the real one, putting all the sensors inside uh, to monitor the temperature, humidity, rotation during the incubation. Initially, they thought about the adrenal egg. However, as you can see, the mother vulture wouldn't be happy to see the adrenal around the nest. So, Michael Duino came to rescue. Um, step, stepping all the necessary modules together, we still have lots of room for a battery and other components. So, our team was able to implement the, the whole IoT system all the way from data collection, which is the egg, to the relay node, to the cloud, while giving Mother Nature a helping hand in the process. Finally, let's take a look at this short video from Discovery Channel about this, this product. This printed egg could be the key to saving endangered vultures. It's chock full of tech from a micro Duino core to Bluetooth and multi-sensory modules to temperature and humidity sensors. This egg has it all. It'll be used to collect important data from inside nests. That information will be wirelessly relayed to a nearby terminal. Conservationists can then use the data to better understand breeding behavior and how they can help bolster populations in captivity. This unique method of data collection is a joint effort between the International Center for Birds of Prey and Microduino. Eggs are slated for field testing this month. Guess it's time to get cracking. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Feng Bing. And next, let's welcome Sally, uh, Ms. Xie Ling Fei, CEO of Kada Story. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sally um, from Kada Story. Uh, yeah, my topic is the development of preschool kids uh, digital reading uh, in China. Um, Kata Story is now the leading uh, children digital content platform, but now we are focusing on elementary reading content for kids from zero to nine years old. Uh, we are based in China's Silicon Valley, Hangzhou. It's also the headquarters for the uh, listed e-commerce giant Alibaba. Our five co-founders are from Alibaba. That's why it's our advantage to set up the platform in the past we set up platforms such as Taobao, Tmall for selling products, but now the, uh, the platform um, is for providing children uh, with high um, quality content to nurture young um, hearts and spirits. Um, we, we, we do not create or make content, but we do analysis on how um, quality content, the relationship between um, quality content and uh, early education. And we connect uh, illustrator, writer, and uh, the content companies uh, with the uh, kids, users. Uh, we, uh, we not only um, gathering uh, resources in China, but also look for resources from around the world. As the company's um, mission is give the best uh, content to kids. We wish children around the world can enjoy um, classic works in literacy at home. Um, firstly, I share the current situation um, about the um, children's digital, uh, digital reading. Um, what I share are based on um, 700 million reading data uh, from 8 million users within three years uh, in our platform. Uh, it's a bit surprising the distribution of the age group is nearly even. We never knew um, from zero years old, um, Chinese parents start to reading online with their kids. And the trend shows us the starting age group um, it's becoming younger and younger. Not only the developed cities, uh, the children from developed cities enjoy the benefits of reading online, but also the children from remote areas start to um, 
reading online. Uh, they, ca they almost keep the same pace as the large, large cities. Um, and we are happy to see internet help balance reading resources in China, and it's also a big support to early education. As we know, there are few um, quite successful um, children reading application as um, Epic, Fafaria, Homer, Stories in US, uh, in English, but you can hardly find any in Mandarin. That's why without any promotion, um, Kada has spread to over 150 countries. Um, from the left, we see the daily average online reading time is increasingly gradually, yeah, from year one to year nine. And on the right, we see the um, yearly, daily duration online reading time is also increasing. That shows the registered users uh, on Kata Story has a high customer satisfaction and a high retention rate. Uh, now I will share, uh, share two um, payment methods um, on our platform. The first uh, paid product is a uh, theme, theme package. Um, you can call it a what to do theory or functional uh, material, reading materials. In this scenario, um, parents, they know what they would like children to read and the children of course know what they like. Um, for example, parents prefer um, the title, the topic on um, uh, social skill, emotion control, uh, wealth management, and uh, children just like Papa Pig, Dora, or just Rabbit, or Mm, uh, fairies, so mm, users pay what they like. But yeah, this is uh, this is the title from the Belgian company Clavis. Um, this title about talk about a career is quite popular. Um, but we also noticed there are over eighty percent parents. They don't know what they, they, they want. They prefer annual um, subscriptions, and they are happy to pay for the reading plan, which is designed on, on children's cognitive development and individual uh, interest and, uh, and habit. That's why we developed uh, this um, subscription uh, to, uh, about uh, the name is Talent Program. And this is the customized uh, um, elementary digital reading product. I think it's the first one, first one reading product uh, in Chinese. Uh, so professionals uh, and the teachers uh, explain and lead the children to read together um, four books every week. That is 208 books a year. Um, and lastly, I want to, that's why I'm here, and to look for more partnerships. Um, if you have any good content, whatever, picture book, audio, um, video courses, targeting zero to nine years old, uh, and you are looking for partners to enter big, uh, China big market, um, please contact with us. Um, we can not only connect you with the users, but also share customer data analysis and share revenues as well. Over 150 um, content providers uh, have joined us. At the same time, if you are producing smart devices and looking for high quality content, uh, mainly if it's mainly in Chinese, we, I think we are the first or the best choice for you because there is a um, wide range and a high volume of quality content already with kids' pref preference tag. As I said, we are an internet company, so the data tell tells us all the facts. Um, before I finish my talk, um, I want to express 
um, a scientifically designed elementary uh, reading product uh, cannot only um, help children form a well-rounded understanding of the real world, but also equips them with eyes to appreciate beauty and give them a positive attitude on life. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Sally. Next, let's welcome Ms. Sophie Chen, partner of JMD EDU. Hello? Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks to all for organizing the session, and thanks for coming to the session. Glad to have the opportunity to present. So in uh, the next eight minutes, I would love to talk about what we do and how our service might help you to understand and enter the China market. So, so who we are, uh, I'm from JMDEDU. So JMDEDU is the leading ad tech B2B media in China. What we do is to connect and inform professionals who work in education industry uh, that want to make a difference in learning. So we have, uh, first and foremost, we are a leading information source for education professionals in China. Uh, we write articles about education technologies, education innovations, uh, write uh, review ad tech products, uh, as well as uh, write an, uh, analysis about uh, market trends and policies. So we reached over 500,000 education professionals in China. And besides news, we also are a leading uh, or event organizers in China. We have um, a leading ad tech brand, uh, event brand in China called GET, Global Education Technology Summit. Uh, last year, we have more than 6,000 attendees uh, attending our conference in Beijing uh, in November. And besides news and events, uh, we also have a database that aggregate and anal uh, analyze data of education companies. And now we have in our database uh, more than 12,000 education companies, uh, and it's updating and increasing every day. So you can uh, answer questions from a more data perspective, a data-driven perspective, like uh, what's the market map of a particular segment in China? Uh, what are the com com uh, competitors list? Um, I will talk about uh, this uh, later elaborate more. So we have been talking a lot in this conference that education and learning uh, is changing very fast and we cannot use the old way to prepare the future generations. And I believe that education cannot be changed if the education industry or the providers of the education is not transforming uh, themselves. And gladly, we are seeing that education industry is undergoing rapid change. So this is, an ex uh, this, uh, this is the uh, investments uh, of ad tech in China over the last five years. And we can see that uh, the first quarter in 2018 uh, get, uh, hit the records in history and almost uh, accounts for 40% of what, our, or, what the money raised in 2017. And this is a graph of uh, the newly registered education companies in China over the last 10 years, uh, which you can see that in 2017, there are, mo there are almost 300,000 companies registered with education services. And I would say, because uh, many people ask me how many companies, how many education companies are in China. Uh, we don't know the exact number, but I say like a million companies would be a really, really modest guess. So uh, we have seen the industry is going rapid changes, and when an industry is going rapid changes, there are a lot of gaps, including information gaps, uh, talent gaps, and knowledge gaps, and that's uh, where we can, uh, that, and that's we, our services can be helped. We identify four gaps, information gaps, connection gaps, knowledge gaps, and talent gaps, and JMD will, uh, based on its industry data, Base and knowledge map will provide uh, services to education companies via media, events, intelligence, and, court, uh, and talent services. So besides the four gaps I just mentioned, there is another gap uh, which I want to highlight here is a gap between China and the world. Um, it is very obvious that China has a huge education market and there lies great opportunities for global education providers uh, in, in the China market. But obviously, it's the, because the Chinese system has its um, own tradition, culture, language, uh, it's, it seems very hard or it's not very easy to get into the market. So here I want to um, 
And this is uh, their uh, few services as the in information source and connector in China. Uh, we want to help in your attempt to understand and enter the China market. There are three things that you might utilize. So first is get China insights. Uh, we write articles in English about China market and also annual reports that you can understand the market. And the other is a database. We now have a better version in English uh, that can help you to do industry analysis. And the third is our event, Get Summit, that brings together the global attack communities. So first, talk about the data, uh, data sets. So basically, uh, we aggregate the data of education companies in China uh, as, and do the first layer of uh, analysis. We now have more than 12,000 companies and more than 14,000 products in our database. So what can you do with the database? So for example, you are a steam company that wants to enter into the China market, say like a kid coding program. So you might want, you might want to ask, uh, what are the existing companies that are doing STEAM in education uh, in China? So you can quickly get a list of the STEAM uh, education companies in China uh, instead of using Google. And also, you might ask who might be my partners or clients. So basically, uh, the K-12 after-school institutions in China might be your clients. So you can get a market map of the K-12 after-school institutions in China uh, with the revenues and city coverages uh, and other dimensions that you choose. Uh, sorry. Yeah, and of course, um, you want, possibly you want, to end, you want to look into a particular company. Uh, let's take an example of uh, MakeBlock, which we'll be presenting. Um, soon. So you want to know, uh, we have basic information, their funding rounds, and, and also competitor lists, um, and also, oops, oh yeah, and also a mind map that tells you the stakeholders, the leading teams, and uh, its products um, of the, from the company. So this is a database. Uh, we have a better version of the database in English. So if you're interested, please schedule a demo with us. Um, so we're happy to, to, to show the to, to products and get your feedback. And apart from the database, uh, we have uh, Get China Insights. That's, uh, we write articles uh, on uh, China market in English. And you can subscribe to the newsletters or go on to our websites. Uh, for weekly uh, up, uh, ad tech updates as well as insights from insiders. Also, we uh, have we write reports on China education industries. For example, like um, by market segments, history of uh, the development of China ad tech. Um, what are the companies are using? Are the leading companies uh, using live streaming technologies to deliver learning and education? So you can download the report from our uh, websites. And last but not least, uh, we hold a summit called GET, Get Summit and Expo uh, in uh, China. So last year we have more than 6,290 uh, 6, attendees uh, from 22 countries with 240 uh, speakers all from the world. So it's a great entry point for international players that are interested in the China market to showcase uh, your education services to the Chinese audience and connect with the Chinese uh, community. Oops. Uh, and we have dedicated program for our international players about uh, China market entry strategies and know-hows. Um, so uh, we welcome all, to, uh, all of you to come to China for the, for the summit. And this year it will be in Shanghai uh, in November. Um, if you're interested, please talk to us um, after the session. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. And last but not least, let's welcome Mr. Wang Jianjun, CEO of MakeBlock. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, the last project uh, uh, today is a uh, Hardware project, you know, uh, Chinese uh, is a water factory, so we have a lot of uh, company that uh, maybe uh, uh, more good at uh, building uh, hardware. So uh, my English is not very good, so I will explain what we are doing mainly through the video. This is the first video. This is MakeBlock, 
a robot building platform. It makes creating simple. It has more than 500 different metal parts, like this, this, and this. Like a robot skeleton with CNC precision processing and an exterior treated with anodized blue finishing. You only need one screw to begin. Now, you build a wall e a guitar, a drone, MCOR, Origa, and Megapi, multiple electronic modules, unique color code, are also parts of the MakeLock electronic system. Look, even a child can build a robot easily. Think about it. How your robot looks like. Maybe like this, 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 or this. Ready? Go! If you prefer to be in control and want easier manipulation, these would be good choices. Bluetooth connection, multi-control terminals, even graphical programming. Based on scratch, a block-style design makes the logic easy to understand. Yes. Oh, you have probably never seen programming on a drone. You'll find more ways to play. Controlling robot is more fun than your imagination. Here, even if you're a kid, you can also play it well. You can make it a little more difficult. More difficult? Even more difficult. Creating is never so easy. Make block. Construct your dreams. Okay, in this video, it's only shown two of our product lines. Actually, now we have five product lines. And uh, so we are the leading STEAM education uh, solution provider. We provide hardware, software, content, and uh, competition. We founded in 2011, and we're based in China, Shenzhen, and we, have, we now have 400, uh, 480 employees. Um, so Mikro's vision is to help people to create in the physical world. So why, why we, uh, we say physical world? Because nowadays it's very easy for us to create in the digital world. We can create anything, even the picture, video, app. You can do anything in the digital world. But if, but uh, when we uh, when we come to the fake world to, for example, to build a robot that uh, take water for you, this seems uh, is a very ordinary action, but it's very hard for many people. We want to um, help people to create in the fake world and in the same time to contribute to make the education better. So it's mainly STEAM education. And uh, we want to solve two problems. So f the first problem is that uh, if you want to create in the physical world, you need to combine hardware and the software. And the combining hardware and the software is very, and uh, it's always very difficult for uh, ordinary people. So we want to provide a platform to integrate uh, mechanicals, electronics, and the software all together. The second problem is that the barrier of building things is still very high. Many people don't have the ability to realize their ideas. So we want to lower the barrier of building things to make, to make the mechanical, the electronic, and the programming very easy. So this is our um, pro uh, product lines. So actually, we have five product lines. The first and the second one is what you see in the video. And, uh, Besides this, we have a drone, a modular drone that can, uh, can be a drone and it can, be, can also change it to a hovercraft. So it can fly and it can drive on the ground. And uh, the, the first product line is a neuron, is an is a electronic uh, programming uh, blocks. And uh, the, finally, the Cody Rocket is a programming robot for kids to learn, uh, to learn programming. So here is a some videos, so these videos we, we already see. This is the uh, important series. Okay. L block is a modular tra and a transformable drones. It can be a drone and it also can change to a hovercraft. So it can fly, it can drive on the ground or drive on the water. And it is also can program it. Neuron is a uh, electronic program blocks. It's a uh
integrated with AI and IoT. So it's very easy for beginners to do some project. So this is Cody Rocket, our latest project that uh, help kids to uh, learn programming. Okay, so besides the hardware products, we also hold a competition called MakeX. So it's a global robotics competition for teenagers. This is a competition last year. We started this competition uh, last year in China, and uh, we have over 200 teams to join the competition. Okay, this is uh, some of our, our key numbers. We're based in China, but uh, uh, about 70% of our sales is from outside China. We have already entered in uh, 20,000 schools all over the world, and uh, we enter in uh, 140 countries. In some of the countries, like in France, uh, Spain, we are the, we are the uh, number one STEM education uh, provider. And our sales in, uh, is grown very quickly during the last years. Okay, thanks. That's uh, what we are doing.